I've been going back and forth all afternoon trying to figure out what I wanted to share with you guys. There has been so much news breaking this week, it's hard to keep up. Impossible for one person to cover all of it. We have another violator of the golden rule here on the channel, the punter in Nebraska. He made some positive remarks about the new Italian prime minister. He was immediately charged with violating the woke commandments. The new prime minister in Italy, she's a common sense thinker, seems to be a Christian woman who prefers the nuclear family. She believes in husband and wife instead of rake and shovel. All things that completely contradict the illusion that the shit fucks are promoting. This biological woman is insane! I cannot believe she said Dan and Fran Tran are not healthy for a child! Shit fucks raise beautiful, wonderful children! Look at how Dwayne Wade and his husband Gabe have raised their son to be their daughter! Once this punter at Nebraska received just a little just a little bit of resistance from the virgins. He deleted his positive tweet, replaced it with a manufactured apology. Immediately after, grabbed his preparation H and prep for cucumber insertion. Digging deeper into that story, that was the original plan for this afternoon, but I decided to pivot towards another topic. When we visit the Woke Saloon, what is one of our favorite drinks? Well, KC, that's easy, cucumber on the rocks. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. But I'm asking about our favorite drink. It's happy hour. We are at the Woke Saloon. The bar is filled with hairstyles featuring every color of the rainbow. Purple Paula, Red Rapino, Hugh Blue, Jean Green. What is the preferred drink of these shit fucks during happy hour? A nice cold glass of spiked lemonade freshly squeezed from Don's lemons. Oh, delusional Donnie. He's at it again. The first eight and a half months of this year, Don Lemon could not buy headlines in the mainstream media. Talking booty with Tutti Frutti and primetime on CNN, it has been completely ignored, not only by his dwindling audience, but also ignored by his fellow butt brigaders in the mainstream media. Since CNN announced the cancellation of Talkin' Booty, well, well, let me correct myself there. I gotta think about Don's feelings. Ever since CNN promoted him from a primetime show a handful of people watch to their morning show that no one watches, Don Lemon has managed to generate headlines every week. Unfortunately for Donnie, the only reason he's making news in the mainstream is because guests on his program keep making him look like a complete dumbass. Remember a couple of weeks ago when an expert on the British royal family educated Tootie on reparations? You guys remember that? Tootie was trying to make the case that the royal family should be responsible for paying reparations to former black slaves living in England, which I guess is fine since there are no former slaves living in England reparations would amount to zero pounds. Instead of arguing with a fruit, this expert, she provided the lemon with an education. Watch for yourself. Well, this is coming when, you know, there's all of this wealth and you hear about it comes as England is facing rising costs of living, a living crisis, austerity budget cuts, and so on. And then you have those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion, here and there, 500 million there. Some people want to be paid back and, uh, and members of the public are wondering why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely, that's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. God, watching that just never gets old. Now you would think, you would think, being humiliated by a common sense thinker on your own show would cause you to make some changes. You have a couple of options here. Number one, you could take the option preferred by butt pirates, stop booking people with common sense, and replace them with woke shit fucks. Number two, you could stop being an agenda-driven asshole and do your job by simply reporting the news. Now, of course, there's always option three. You spend your final days in prime time being the same thing you've been for the last 10 years, the laughingstock of cable news. 
Which option did Tootie choose? <laughs> these people, these people are so predictable. Right now, as we speak, people living in Central Florida are surviving a dangerous hurricane. Leading up to a storm like this, people living in the affected areas, they're looking for information from the media. How strong is the storm? How high is the storm surge? Rainfall amounts. How long is the storm going to last? Now, those last two questions, those are the most important. People who have lived through multiple hurricanes, they will know exactly what I'm about to talk about. When the mainstream media covers hurricanes, they like to focus on wind speed, the drama. What you really need to know is the amount of rainfall and for how long. Like I said this morning, I have seen a Category 1 hurricane do more damage than a Category 4. Why? Because the storm stat stationary for two days, rain falling for 48 hours straight. When the ground gets that saturated, 20, 25, 30 mile an hour winds, they will topple an oak tree, causing shit fucks in your neighborhood to run outside to mourn the death of their once living God. Anyway, if you haven't figured it out already, Don Lemon chose option three. He has chosen to spend his last days in prime time, proving to his shrinking audience that the rumors are in fact true. Don Lemon is the front runner in the stupid fuck competition. Last night, Talking Booty with Tutti Fruity, it invited a hurricane expert onto the show. Their original plan was for the expert to teach people how to properly pound the bongo during a hurricane. Power companies will shut off power once storms make landfall. When it's dark inside the house, makes it difficult to pound the bongo. You might swing your wooden stick or plastic stick if that's what you prefer. You might swing your stick, hit your lover's back. You could hit their leg. It's possible that you find the wrong orifice, slide your stick into your lover's ear. All kind of bad things can happen when you're participating in the butt bongo inside a dark house. As you guys know, the lemon is one of America's favorite fruits. He thought he was inviting an expert to give his viewers tips and butt safety, but also talking about the impact that climate change is having on this hurricane. You know, because Floridians, they are oh so worried at the moment about global fucking warming. Watch for yourself. Can you tell us what this is and what effect the climate change has on this phenomenon? We, we can come back and talk about climate change uh, at a later time. I want to focus on the here and now. We think the rapid intensification is probably almost done. There could be a little bit more intensification as it's still over the warm waters of the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico, but I don't think we're going to get any more rapid intensification. If you look here, you can actually see, pretty interesting for your viewers, you can actually see a second eye wall forming around the inner eye wall, and that's basically the second eye wall has overtaken the original eye wall, and that should arrest development. Uh, so listen, I just, I'm just trying to get that you said you want to talk about climate change, but what, what effect does climate change have on this phenomenon that, that is happening now? Because it seems these storms are intensifying. That's the question. Here. I don't think you can link climate change to any one event. Okay. On the whole, on the cumulative, uh, climate change uh, may be making storms worse, uh, but uh, to link it to any one event, um, I, I would caution against that. Okay. Well, they, uh, listen, I grew up there, and these storms are intensifying. Something is causing them to int intensify. These people are absolutely deplorable. These people have no morals, no values. They never, never let anything get in the way of furthering their narrative. Just think about it. Anytime a mass shooting takes place, what do they do? They push gun control. NFL season starts, they push mythical racism. Every year at Christmas, they try to cancel Christmas trees and replace it with a fucking rainbow. And anytime there is a hurricane, the mainstream media promotes climate change. Number one, Don Lemon's full of shit. I grew up in the South. I'm a hurricane expert. Take my word for it. These storms are intensifying. By the way, look at the eye wall of this storm. Oh, oh, ends hole is begging for my stick. Hurricanes today, they are just as strong as they were 20 years ago. Matter of fact, down here on the Gulf Coast, we have actually seen less hurricanes in the past 10 or 15 years than we had the first 20, 25 years of my life. I remember when I was in college from 2004 to 2006, we had back-to-back -back hurricanes almost every summer. Since then, 
the hurricanes have been more sporadic. We will go years without having a hurricane make landfall. When you live down here on the Gulf Coast, hurricanes are to be expected. They're just a part of life. The only reason the media is talking about strength instead of frequency is because they can't talk about frequency. They can't talk about frequency because we haven't seen as many storms down here on the coast. Once that cycle happens again and we start seeing storms with more frequency back to back, the media is going to blame global warming. Number two, Don Lemon. He asked the question about climate change. That hurricane expert clearly did not want to go down that path. He was trying to do his job. He was trying to warn people in Florida about the intensity of this storm. He was trying to give viewers the information that they were looking for. But Don Lemon wasn't worried about that. No, 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 no. Tootie knows best. He knows the pertinent information Floridians need. They shouldn't be worried about where the storm makes landfall. They shouldn't be worried about evacuation notices. They should be worried about climate change. Oh my God, all of those people evacuating in those gas-powered vehicles, they're killing the planet! Those emissions are making this storm stronger. Can they not evacuate on foot? Do these people not own bikes? The rest of us should not have to suffer because these people want to leave their homes and evacuate. I am tired of gas emissions killing my oak trees. These people never let anything get in the way of furthering their own narrative. While prepping my videos today, I have been watching coverage on this storm on Fox News and the Weather Channel. You know how many times I have heard someone mention climate change? Zero. Both of those clips that I just shared with you guys, that is the reason Don Lemon lost his spot in prime time. Instead of reporting the news, instead of warning people in Florida and allowing this hurricane expert to do his job, Don Lemon is more concerned with promoting his twisted agenda. Then he wonders why no one watches him. I'm telling you, his days at CNN are numbered. Like I told you guys a few weeks ago, they are setting Don Lemon up for failure. The morning show on CNN, least watched show on the network. Hell, one of the least watched shows on cable television. They are going to bring in the fruit basket and not only blame him for the fruit flies, they're also going to blame him for the low ratings. At that point, firing Don Lemon will be justified. It was easy for him to fire Brian Stelter and the handful of other shit fucks that CNN's fired this year. All those were old white dudes. Firing Don Lemon... That would create backlash. He checks multiple woke boxes. Now, after he proves himself to be a huge embarrassing failure, not once, but twice, CNN will have justification to fire him. Now, don't get me wrong. The virgins on Twitter, they'll still be upset. But CNN, they'll be able to justify firing Don Lemon to the rest of the mainstream media. So, enjoy your last days, Donnie. Won't be long. We will be laying your mainstream media career to rest next to your butt buddy, Chrissy Cuomo. But let me know what you guys think. Don Lemon tries, then tries again, to shift the narrative to climate change instead of hurricane coverage. And for the second time in two weeks, gets completely shut down on his own show. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.